and gentlemen, I would like to start first by apologizing on behalf of the embassy and the big team here from South Africa <clears throat> for having started late. We had, uh, we've been having some processes that we've had to go through, including processing uh, the dogs that will take part in the search and rescue activities uh, in terms of the tragedy that has happened in southeast Zimbabwe. So that ate into the time. So that's why we've uh, kept you waiting for so long. I hope uh, next time we are not going to keep you waiting for so long. Um, if it was a uh, outside a formal meeting, I would say, I would make it up to you. You know what I mean? Take you to the pub or something like that, <laughs> buy you two drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I do apologize. I hope uh, in the meantime, you've networked among yourselves and shared information and other things that you may have wanted to do that you don't normally have time to do. We have here in our midst a, a big uh, team from South Africa. Not all of them are here uh, because uh, they are still finishing and tying up the loose ends in terms of the preparations that they have been doing so that they could come here to Zimbabwe to, to join hands in assisting in the uh, aftermath of uh, Cyclone uh, Dai. But the majority of them are here. The people who are here, uh, largely with and uh, come under the umbrella of the gift of the givers, an important uh, organization that the South African government has been working with over many years now during such difficult and complicated uh, situations. They've come here with a team also from the government, South African government, in the main, the South African police services. Uh, to provide certain help, uh, largely also as a request of the uh, Zimbabwean government. A few days ago, the Minister of uh, International Relations and International Trade uh, contacted me, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Trade contacted me and said in particular what they needed urgently were sniffer dogs and the search and rescue team to assist because as you know, uh, many people have disappeared. And indeed, from time to time, uh, uh, corpses of, of people are being found. Uh, mainly on the Zimbabwean side, but also sometimes on the, on the uh, Mozambique side. And so I'm very happy that South, the team South Africa has finally sent uh, a team of people to <coughs> assist uh, in, in, in this regard. <clears throat> in the light of the lateness of time, uh, I'm not going to go into many, many, many details. Yesterday we had an extensive briefing as uh, ambassadors and diplomats from all over the world by the cabinet committee, which is coordinating uh, all the work related to dealing, managing the tragic uh, post-cyclone entire situation. Uh, it was a team of just over 10 uh, cabinet ministers with their senior advisors and uh, led by Minister Moyo, uh, the Minister of Local Government. Uh, those who might have been there from amongst yourself would have learned uh, by then of the latest com very complex situation. Out of that meeting, we were then promised a comprehensive appeal document, a comprehensive appeal document uh, uh, by the Zimbabwean government on the latest situation. And that, that document would come out by tomorrow. I'm sure that document will help you, will help us as the international community to comprehend fully the situation. 
I have no doubt that document in the coming days will be uh, 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 updated, but it will be an important uh, reference point because our governments, including the South African government, uh, have uh, asked for more detailed information, for more detailed technical information, uh, for more accurate information on the specific needs according to priority of uh, Zimbabwe in the light of this uh, 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 tragic uh, situation. So we're hoping that document then will come and we'll be able to discuss uh, amongst ourselves, including with the gift uh, uh, of, uh, of the givers. To assist me to further elaborate on this situation, I'd like to call upon Justin Corbett to, to, to outline what help uh, and assistance they, they brought. He is from Gift of the Givers, and uh, is the leader of the big team that we have uh, here amongst us. Thank you. Where is he? Oh, oh yeah, here. <laughs> Sorry. Please. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Um, first of all, we are a team from Gift of the Givers, consisting of 12 members. We are self-sufficient uh, for the time that we will spend in, in Zimbabwe. We have come along with uh, four canine units with their handlers, so four sniffer dogs. Uh, then as well with four the, the rescue technicians to assist with the search and rescue and recovery uh, operations that will transpire on, on that side, as well as uh, advanced life support paramedic to assist if there's any need for medical assistance where we will be. Uh, for the time being that we will be there, we will be coordinated uh, or we will fall under the, the local jurisdiction and uh, authorities that will be handling, overseeing the, the recovery operations. Thank you, sir. Does anybody else want to highlight anything? Team South Africa? If, no. if I may add that uh, the gift of the givers will also be assisting with the distribution of humanitarian aid uh, in the, the, the affected areas and that will be coordinated by our local office in Harare, Zimbabwe. I think maybe they are, they are being modest, uh, Justin and, and the team are being modest. The number of things that, uh, that they have brought uh, consisting of uh, these main uh, categories, household goods, uh, foodstuffs, school stationery and books, some wheelchairs, blankets, and some clothing uh, items. I want to add here, as I tried earlier on to, to allude to, that uh, this is ongoing work uh, that South Africa, Team South Africa, is, is doing. We, you would have seen the statements primarily from the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, her appeal to all of South Africa to galvanize support to assist uh, the neighboring countries of Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and Malawi. So <coughs> this is work in progress. And uh, today is just one important stage in this process of trying to help. Uh, the minister called on South Africans of all, of all persuasions, private sector, government, business, individuals to, to look and, and, and to dig deep into their pockets to provide help uh, for the people of Zimbabwe, as well as the people of Mozambique and uh, Malawi. And I believe uh, there might, in many, many ways, be more extensive damage and need if we wanted to compare in Mozambique more than maybe the two other countries, but yes, in Zimbabwe there's very much a big need uh, for assistance. So that is what we're here all about. If the other colleagues come before we finish, we'll allow them to just to add something. The, the few other colleagues that are coming, particularly those who are coming and who are looking after the dogs. If there's no other addition, I would then like to open the floor. Is there anything? No, um, yeah, very briefly. Uh, my sister wants you to be in a hurry. 
wants, wants to say thank you to all the donors that came forward from uh, from the wholesalers in Harare who supported um, the campaign to raise food and uh, humanitarian aid for the people of uh, Zimbabwe. So she says thank you to everyone in Zimbabwe for the help. And she, she appreciates it. Thank you. And thank you to Econet for the support. I did want to add that we are collaborating, Peaceful Givers is collaborating with Econet, a Zimbabwean company who played a very big role behind the scenes. Now and I think before, in, on, on many other occasions, Econet has uh, played a very important role. May I now open the floor for questions, for, for comments? If members of the media also think they can donate and help, please come forward. Over to you. Please uh, introduce the organization that you come from, your name, and then your name, and uh, go ahead with your questions. My name is Robert from Sly Media. From? Sly Media. I just want to find out for how long are you going to be in Zimbabwe? Do you have a time frame that you are going to follow? Our time frame for our stay in operations in Zimbabwe will be between five and seven days uh, to assist where we can and the best we can. Okay. Before you continue your questions, I'd like to welcome our colleagues from Gift of the Givers. And South African Police Services, am I right? Okay, yes. Yes, who've just come in and to say welcome. Uh, you look uh, tired, but I'm sure that <laughs> after the discussions here, uh, uh, you will you will be re-energized. Welcome, Shaida. Thank you so much. Shaida is in charge of the health, the operations and office of Gift of the Givers in Zimbabwe, am I right? That's correct. Thank so you. she is the one who do, does a lot of work and uh, behind the scenes and maybe most of the time is forgotten and, and overlooked. You found us just having moved off the briefing to the media on what we were here for when we had just started with one question and so I'd like to move step back and ask you to then add to the inputs that we've given. And then we, after that we'll continue the questions from the media. Shaida? Thank you so much. So we're sadly here to cover the area of the Eastern Islands, a disaster we never thought was going to come to Zimbabwe. So we have with us today a rescue team. We plan to go up that way uh, later on today and um, go through for a couple of days as long as the time is needed. Thank you. Do we have anything to add your, your Anything you'd like to? Uh, at this point in time, sir. Are you sure? Yes. We are ready for, for the work. That's, ready for That's the why we are. <laughs> Where's your dog? Do you speak? Uh, they're on the way, stop. On the way, the dogs. Yeah. Please. Do you speak Shona? <laughs> Not at all. I didn't know. <laughs> but I'll learn. They'll be fluent in five days. I, I, I will learn. <laughs> <laughs> you will learn. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the media, let's continue with the questions. Any more questions? Or are you so tired from the waiting <laughs> that you can't even talk now? <laughs> Any questions, comments? You can add anything you want to add, Shaida, whilst they are thinking. <coughs> I think we're just about ready to head out. Listen, okay. I thank you for your donors. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Waiting for our dogs. Dogs are on their way. Okay. Are the dogs here? Yeah. They should be here by now. Okay. They should be here somewhere. Are you saying they're not? Are you saying they're not yet here? They're on the way. I'll check. I'll check. Okay. Because yeah. I think the media would be very interested in the dogs. Sure. So what is here? So here we have the truck, uh -huh. which you kindly helped us with. Yeah. And uh, we have the team, which we promised was the main thing for this exercise. And the dogs. And the dogs. What's your truck? So 
We have the list. So how many, uh, how many are the people who are with the dogs? There's people? one more dog handler okay. with the dogs. With the, all the dogs? That's correct. So today okay. we've got a team of 12. Here. Everybody is here. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, is that it? Going, 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 <laughs> gone. Shall we then go uh, uh, and take photos? Thank you. Photo opportunity. Or oh, he says they have arrived. Shall we go and have a, a photo opportunity outside? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to take
Just happy Anything to be out more? of their boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. What's the name? How these dogs work? They, our dogs are all trained on human yeah, I don't know. You see it a lot of times on TV, people will bring you a piece of clothing, but they hold on to the clothing. So that, 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 that clothing eventually starts smelling like, like your hands. So who's the dog going to pick up now? See, so that's why, that's why these dogs are trained on, on human scent and on the, on the smell, decaying smell of or decomposing smell of a, of a dead person. So what, what happens is we'll take an area and divide it into blocks. So we'll start walking lines depending on, and, you, and you've got to keep the dog in the wind the whole time. So, so, as, so as he can pick up the scent. Because if a body is, how can I say, laying over the earth, it, it makes, and, and the wind's coming from this side, it makes a scent cone which looks like a triangle. So the further you are away from it, the wider the scent cone is. And the closer you get, the, obviously, the, the smaller it is. So as you're walking along, every time the dog picks up, you get, you get yourself a marker in the field or whatever it is. So, and yeah, by the third, fourth time, you can see a guy right, he's picking up just about in the same line the whole time. And you can make your legs bigger. You don't have to walk so far the whole time. So that's more basically how they work. If they pick something up, they go and then we go check. So, yeah, that's like I said. That's 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 about that. So, how ma how many hours a day do these dogs work? Some sometimes we work them 16 hours a day. It all depends. It all depends on on the on, on the terrain, the conditions, and so on. So, okay. Members of the media. So, so, so they can work for long hours. Sorry. I think they can work for long hours. So it's, it's not a, a thing of because what 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 we'll do is we'll work for like an hour, hour and a half, and we'll rest a bit, give them some water, let them recuperate a bit, and then we can then we start again. So, do you work at night or not? Yes. If 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 the terrain and the uh, the elements allow, then we can work at night. That's what I mean. Because so because the dog uses the scent. And, but, but, the, but the problem we're starting with is uh, because we don't know the area so well. Uh, you can be walking and the next thing you might be falling off a cliff or something like that. So you're obviously going to have somebody that, that knows the terrain very well. Questions? Media, are you there? Are you going to work with the local dog unit? Well, if, if the dog unit knows that area and they know the area well, they can uh -huh. be more than welcome to, to okay. work with us. Uh, okay. Question. Yes? Uh, maybe uh, I just wanted to know when they are looking for.
And they're leaving for? We'd like to leave uh, today if possible. We want to go out as soon as we can. We just had a little delay with clearing the dogs. So basically we're ready to go. You'll be here, they'll be here for how many days? We, we think to about four minim, or five minim, days minim, minimum. Minimum. Five days minimum. Five days minimum. Five days minimum. Yeah. Okay. But obviously we'll see as we go in okay. how much more needs to be done. Okay. How long does it take? Mm -hmm. Just about three, three hours. Three hours to Motari and two hours maybe to like Skyline. Okay. So. All right. Where you guys going Yeah, we'll we'll make camp somewhere up there. You know, we got our tents and our generator, and we're ready to go. Very very interesting story. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Anything more? Because the yeah. last, the last thing with the dogs is. You can search bigger areas quicker whereas you've got like 15 people walking because then you gotta walk this way and then you gotta walk that way. Yeah. Whereas if you keep the dog in the wind and I mean some of these bodies might have been laying there for a while now so, that, so the, 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 the smell will be quite bad and they'll, they'll, they'll pick it up far. Sometimes they'll, they'll pick it up up to a kilometer <laughs> depending on how strong the smell is and how strong the wind is. You know? How much food does it eat a day? Like, like I said, uh, maximum. We normally give them se 700 grams, but you, but um, if, if it's been a long day, we give them a kilogram of food. So, and they, they also only eat once a day. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're done. Yeah. I think we're okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that's you. Yes, that's you. That's you. That's you. That's Can you have a team photo? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Come. We can go this way for your photo shoot. We can take the baggage. Come. Ah, bike spot. We can take the baggage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why are you? 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 This is Belgium Shepherd, what is size? Belgium is very cheap. Very cheap, I must say.